The NYPD says that it is now increasing manpower at several city subway stations. This comes as the mayor took a swipe at the governor and the MTA, declaring again that the system is safe. CBS 2's Andrew Grimes reports. Riding the rails in New York City, Mayor de Blasio says you have nothing to fear. What's happening right now is uh, clearly at the instruction of the governor, the MTA leadership is fear mongering. I've never seen anything like it, Brian. People constantly saying something isn't safe when it is. The mayor doubled down this morning in response to his rival, Governor Cuomo, and the MTA, who are worried and want the NYPD to kick in more resources. This was interim city transit president Sarah Feinberg yesterday. Putting on rose colored glasses, pretending that there's no problem, is not a way to leave the city. Her comments came just hours after one of the latest incidents. An MTA conductor was nearly blinded riding the J train off duty in Brooklyn. Police say a stranger slashed him in the face with a box cutter. Most New Yorkers we spoke with don't know what the mayor's talking about. There's the mentally ill, homeless, sleeping on the subway that, that are starving and angry and upset. And I don't feel that comfortable. My biggest concerns are being alone on the subway car and being mugged by a vagrant. Definitely for me, it's very good, safe. I feel safe, but speaking along the other people, like the elderly, the people that can't protect themselves, I feel sorry for them. De Blasio and the NYPD say overall transit crime is down compared to the same time last year, but transit assaults are up some 20 percent. The mayor says they've added 600 cops to the system. System, plus additional personnel. We've put uh, auxiliary officers recently into the top 20 stations in the city, just really all to, to make New Yorkers feel safe. In a statement, the MTA says it is grateful the NYPD is adding more auxiliary police officers, but more needs to be done, they say, including adding more full time police officers and more mental health services immediately. On the Upper West Side, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. In response to the mayor's comments, the MTA says that the mayor needs to finally recognize the reality of what is happening.